In this TI basic tutorial we're going to go over um, the graph screen. There are there are three screens in the this op the Texas Instrument TI eighty four operating system that you use. Um, and in the manual they call the first one the home screen and that's kind of like your kind of like your command line input you know you type in your commands press enter um stuff like that and you also and that's your home screen you know where you start and you this screen right here and then you also got your graph screen your graph screen you know is your graphic screen you can draw all the graphics you want you can li literally take control of every little pixel um, and I want to show you how to do that. So the first thing you want to start with is clear draw, and that will clear draw is different from clear home. Clear draw clears the graph screen. Clear home clears the home screen. So clear draw. We're also going to use axes off. Now where you would find all this stuff, um, all here. See where we're going um, for all our drawing stuff you can easily find it on your calculator shift program you can see draw right there and it's going to show you all of your drawing functions and stuff and we're going to be going over some so i'm going to go over a few um we want to write you don't have to write axes off axes off is the opposite of axes on obviously axes off will turn off your um, the axis on the screen. You know, if you're writing a game, you want to disable the axis on the screen. If you're actually using the calculator for math, you probably want to write axes on to turn them back on. Um, but it really depends. I usually have them off because they get in the way of the game. So I'm also going to show you some functions that we're not really going to use much. Um, First one is the circle function. This will draw a circle. Let's say zero zero five. So clear draw axis off circle zero zero five. Let's go ahead and see the output of this. You can use these functions for like science class, but if you're actually trying to make like a game or a useful application um, that's not related to regular um, graphing then these functions aren't going to help much and I'll show you why Now let's program execute test. Now, as you can see, it draws a circle, but you may be like, um, if you're a programmer, you may be wondering why is the circle in the center of the screen if I told you to write it at zero, zero? Because, um, you know, if you're if you use like if you're big and using um programming like in in your math class you got you know your x and y axis that's I want to actually use the line tool your x and y axis and the more you go this way the more the y increases the more you go this way the more the x increases so the origins in the center right here at zero zero um but when you're programming on a computer, it's different. It's like, here's your graphs like this, and the, t the origin is at the top left corner. The more you go this way, the more the x increases. The more you go down, the more the y increases. But when the circle function assumes your origin is at 0, 0. And the circle function works like this. You know, you got your y and x coordinates. And then you got the radius, the radius you want your circle to have. Um, so that's how the circle function works. There's an, um, another function we're not going to use too much is the line function. Um, let's write this at like 0, 0, 
10, 10. Unload this. And as you can see, this will draw a line. Um, ten. This will draw a line from the center. Ten, ten. Now, like I said, if you're a programmer and you want the stuff to go from, oh, there's also other reasons why you pro these functions aren't very good for games. I mean, you can use the circle function, the line function to dr help draw a screen, but they're really slow. It's actually faster to draw a line by each individual pixel than using the line function. Um, another thing I'm going to show you, like, um, what we're going to use mostly though, rather than circle or line, we're going to use two functions. The first is pixel on slash pixel off. The pixel on and pixel off functions will turn a pixel on or off at any coordinate on the screen but this one works differently rather than turning a pixel on it with zero zero being the origin of your screen right here the origins up here at the top left and the more you increase the y the more it goes down and the more you increase the x the more it goes right um so like if i if, see on this graph if i on if i drew a line from 0, 0 to 10, 10, it would draw it like that. But if I drew um, one from 0, 0 to 10, 10 with um, the pixel on function, it'd draw it like this. Like that. Like it's going from the top left corner like that. Um, so uh, pixel on function, we're going to use that a lot. I'm going to show you an example. I'm going to use a for loop for i20 or for i1020. So it's going to loop through this 10 times and it's each time it's going to um, increment i by 1. And I'm going to draw it and you draw it at x, y or y, x coordinates, y, comma, x. And so what we're going to do is every time it draws a pixel, we're going to draw it at the y is going to be 10. And the x is going to be 10 plus i, or no, it just it it, can, it could just simply be i. So what that's going to do is it's going to draw a pixel at 10, 10. Then it's going to draw one at 10, 11, 10, 12, 10, 13, 10, 14, all the way to 10, 20. And this is going to basically draw us a horizontal line that's 10 pixels long. And there you go. See, it started at 10, 10, and it drew us a horizontal line right there. Um, so that's what the pixel on function does. I kind of like the pixel on and test function because by default, um, the it assumes the origin is the top right corner, you know, going down like a computer is. Just I just find um better to use, and they're actually a little bit faster than actually trying to draw a line the other way. Um, so that's the pixel on function and the last function I'm going to show you is the text function. This function is another one will you use for games a lot because it it's really fast. It works the same way where it's the origin is the top left corner and it draws strings of text onto the drawing screen, which is really useful so you don't have to draw strings of text pixel by pixel. You can just use this text function. And that's what the function is, text. You give it a y x coordinate and then your string of text. Um, so I'd say 25. So it's going to draw it only at 5 but kind of far down. And we're just going to have it say, hello YouTube. See if this will work.
and see it says hello YouTube um, that's really useful you know I um let's say you're making a game let's say pong I'll actually put a source code for a pong I made a little while ago in the description but um let's say you're making a game and like pong and you have your score you don't um you could uh, you could use this text function to draw their score cuz it'll draw numbers as well so just if I type in 24 it would write 24 on the graphing screen um so that that's really it for this tutorial I wanted to show you how basically introduce you to the graphing screen show you some stuff about it um and yeah I'll give you an example source code in the description of a pong game made on the with the graphing screen I made a little while ago it it won't run too well on the emulator cuz it it'll flicker a bit cuz um, I didn't really p bother putting in anything to prevent it from flickering, so it'll run fine on TI-84.